Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we are talking about, specifically about Dungeons and Dragons, and we're talking about the Satine Phoenix tattoo controversy, and we're talking about Luke Gygax, Gary Gygax's son. That's the kicker here. All right, so let's get into this. So one, this is part of a playlist. If you want full context, watch the playlist. I will give a bit of a summary here, but if you want more on this topic, I got an entire playlist. It's linked below. All right, uh, on this specific topic, all right? So uh, I'm gonna describe this as fast as I possibly can. I'm getting good at describing this quickly. Uh, okay, so Satine Phoenix's husband, Jameson Stone, CEO, former CEO of Apotheosis Studio, is a monster, monster jerk to Post Malone's uh, tattoo guy in getting a tattoo. And the reason this matters is Jameson Stone was punching, is Jameson Stone is married to Satine Phoenix, who is a legit, world known, actually one of the most famous female dungeon masters in the world, bar none, easily top three. I think Deborah Ann Wall, most people know her more, but Satine Phoenix is definitely top three female dungeon masters in the entire world, almost certainly number two. Um, and then why this matters is Jameson Stone was punching down. That is instantly recognizable in today's society. Everybody knows what punching down means and people care about punching down. They're like, punching down is not cool. Big guy punches on little guy, not cool, right? Like, we have very few things that aren't allowed in our society anymore, but everybody's like, punching down, you're a jerk, right? Like, that's one thing we still agree on as a society. So here's the kicker. A lot of people are like, this doesn't have anything to do with Dungeons and Dragons. OGGM, he has a whole video like saying, ah, this is not our D&D &D problem. So wrong on so many levels, all right? So Satine Phoenix literally worked for Wizards of the Coast. Satine Phoenix is the vast majority of her work, her, of all of her effort and focus has been Dungeons and Dragons for the last 10 years, bar none, okay? And then it, here's the kicker. Where does this really connect to Dungeons and Dragons? Jameson Stone, Satine Phoenix get married in March of 2022. Where? GaryCon. GaryCon. Okay? GaryCon. Yeah, that's right. The, uh, well, it used to be an OSR convention. Now it's very much a D&D &D 5e convention. Okay? So it is the convention that celebrates Gary Gygax. Right? It's still held, like, in Lake Geneva, uh, Wisconsin. And in like when it started up, maybe like ten years ago, there's a bunch of OSR, you know, OSR dudes over there. Ain't no OSR dudes over there now. <laughs> like that thing is swamped with a whole bunch of D and D five E people, who, including who? Uh, Jameson Stone and Satine Phoenix. They are not even remotely connected to the OSR. So what were they doing at GaryCon? They were getting married. Who officiated their wedding? Gary Guy Gag. Wait, wait. Luke Gygax, Gary Gygax's son, officiated Satine Phoenix and Jameson Stone's Dunces and Dragons wedding. Like, that's like, it don't get more Dunces and Dragons than being married at Gary Con by Luke Gygax, right? And by and who's Luke Gygax? Oh, Luke Gygax is Gary Gygax's son that everybody likes. He's got a few of them. A few of them nobody knows or cares about. Luke Gygax is a veteran, a U.S. military veteran. Everybody loves him, right? He's young, he's fit, like, you know, he's like, he's like what you would expect a Hollywood celebrity to look like, right? And you're like, this is, you know, this is the son everybody cares about. Ernest Gygax, Gary's other son, super old, had a massive Twitter burnout last year, uh, crashed an entire company, like, you know, not the this is the son that everybody likes, right? Like not the, not his uh, his other problematic or ignored son, right? Like his sons, right? So Gar Luke, Luke is the cool one, right? Like, and Luke married them. This entire Satine Phoenix tattoo controversy is braided with a thick metal wire to Dungeons and Dragons. This is important to Dungeons and Dragons. It's important to your game it impacts Dungeons & Dragons directly. And the reality is the biggest problem here is the teen Phoenix and her, uh, specifically Jameson Stone brought shame to his wife, brought shame to Dungeons and & Dragons. And, and if you're paying attention, 
talent behavior matters, right? Like uh, Warner Brothers is about, is thinking right now if they should take a $200 million movie, The Flash, which connects to three other movies that cost $100 million plus, right? Aquaman, um, uh, Black Adam, and there's one more in there. And just literally take a $200 million movie and throw it out. Like, literally just never release it. Like, it's that bad, right? Talent, behavior matters. When you do, when you are connected to Dungeons and & Dragons and you have made your identity connected to Dungeons & Dragons, and that is exactly what was happening here. Satine Phoenix and Gemma Stone were saying, take our Dungeons & Dragons bodies, take our Dungeons & Dragons characters, player characters, and indelibly put them onto our bodies so no one will ever forget our connection to Dungeons and Dragons and that went south this is all about this Satine Phoenix tattoo controversy goes directly to the heart of the future of Dungeons and Dragons and that's why it matters that's my opinion, what's yours? let me know in the comments below, please consider like subscribing and have a wonderful millennium